one, Rob the Backyard Gardener here. Got uh, seven plum seeds. These are plums that I ate at the grocery store and what well, ate at my house if I got them from the grocery store. Decided to see if I could try my luck at growing a plum tree. Did a little research online. Not a lot of stuff on plum trees, a lot of stuff on apricots and things like that. But from what I read and what I watched, it looks like I need to crack open the hard shell and get the seed out. So I'm going to experiment with one and uh, see what's inside. Or I'm going to try a pair of vice grips or pliers and see if I can pop it open. I don't really want to do the hammer method. Let's see what I get. So after a little bit of cutting away at the edges and a little bit of smashing, it looks like we've got a seed. All right, so that does work. And here's the shell. So let me get the rest of uh, these guys opened and uh, show you what I got. All right, here's the finished product. I got six uh, out pretty smoothly. One I uh, tried the pliers on and uh, split it. So no sense uh, trying to throw this one. I'll put it with the shells there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these seeds in some water to make sure that they all sink to the bottom. Obviously, if the seeds float, they're not viable. So let me go get a little bit of water. I'll be right back. All right, got myself a little bit of the rainwater from my rain collection system. And let's put these in there and hope that they sink. Well, looking like six viable seeds to me. Woohoo, first step. All right, now that we've got six viable seeds, we're gonna use the paper towel and Ziploc bag method. Now I will say that these plums were in the fridge for about 60 days when they were not eaten. And after I ate them, I dried the seeds out a little bit. So they've been out of the fridge for about a couple of days. Anyway, I don't know if they need to go back in the fridge in the Ziploc bag. I'm kind of trial and erring. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put them in the paper towel, and then I'm going to go ahead and let them try to germinate as if I was doing regular seeds. So I'm not going to soak them in any long period of time, and I'll let you know what happens um, anywhere between uh, 4 and 12 days from now, I think. So I'll be right back after I get them in the Ziploc bag. All right, so we got them on the wet, wet paper towel. We'll go ahead and uh, fold this over nicely. Give them a little pat down. And then I'm going to fold this over one more time, not quite to the end. Give it another little pat down. Fold that in. And fold that in. Give it a little drizzle of water here. And now let's put it in the Ziploc zip bag. All right, they're in the Ziploc bag. I do have a little bit of air in there. I do make sure that we can kind of cut back on any mold. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna label these plum seeds. Today is April 24th. And uh, we'll check back in if I get any germination here shortly. So here's an update on my plum seeds that I put in the paper towel and the Ziploc bag on 424. Today's 429. And not the best germination rate, but we do have one that's pretty much ready to go into the ground now, in my opinion, or at least into some soil. And you know what? This cracked one, it actually is the only other one to actually sprout. Now I'm going to leave the other ones here in this paper towel for probably another week or so until they become either not viable um, or they mold or whatever. But we might have action on another one right here. So we'll see what happens, but I do want to get these other two planted up just to see what happens. I think they're ready to go. So I do know obviously to help, you'll put this root side down with the top facing up. The seed's about a half an inch, so I'll put it in about a half an inch below soil level. So it'll be the bottom will be about an inch down, the top will be about a half an inch down. And we'll see what happens. I'll be right back. So I've got a two cut method here. 
and we've got the uh, hole for the seed. Now I think we'll take this one right here and obviously we'll want to put it in here with the root down. And it's in there now, hard to see, but let me see if I get a better angle. You can see that it's in there maybe. There we go. So now we're just going to uh, cover it up here. Give it a little pat. I'll give it a little water and I will label it and I'll be right back. And there you go everyone. Plum tree, which I planted from seed on 424. Germinated here obviously on 429. It's in there, it's nice, got a nice watering. And I'll just keep the soil uh, moist and uh, not in the direct sunlight, just uh, getting some uh, indirect sunlight from indoors and we'll see if I can get it to sprout here, uh, break the surface at least, in the next uh, three to four days. I'll get the other one done and we'll see what we got on the next update. And there's the other one. I did a little different label on this one because it was the seed that was broken, still germinated, but I wanted to make sure I knew which one was which. Anyway, I'm going to get them in, in the uh, window, the south facing window, and uh, wish me luck. Thanks again.